The three of us are sitting with the unfolding events of the times and thinking about the great arc of transformation that life imposes upon us. Jung thought greatly about his own process as well as the process of the culture. And if he were here today, he might say that we are all participating in a collective negredo, that something is emerging that is unexpected, that we weren't prepared for, that demands an accommodation, and that causes the death of all kinds of illusions, both collectively and individually. And how do we sit in that? Well, maybe it, it seems like the first place to start is to just start with that term and define it a little bit. Negredo is a term that comes from alchemy, which was a kind of a medieval young belief, sort of a spiritual practice that that later became chemistry, actually. But Jung was fascinated by alchemy because the incredibly figurative language, these colorful metaphors that the alchemists wrote about as they worked with materials, he felt were metaphors for psycho-spiritual transformation. So the negredo was often referred to as a black, blacker than black. Yeah, it sounds so mystical. Um, the black, blacker than black of the, the darkness and that place also where there there's no light, but it's also associated with the incubation process. Uh, likened to pregnancy that takes place unseen within in a blackness or a seed beginning to germinate in the blackness of soil. So it's associated with a kind of at least an opportunity uh, for a beginning. I don't know that it's restricted to that, but um, it often appears at the beginning of psychological work. And I think we see that a lot of people come in because they're in a life crisis under Grado. What that brings to mind to me, Deb, is that there are times in our lives where we begin to get the sense that something very, very important is about to take place, but it hasn't landed yet. And there's a kind of pressure that begins to thrum in the personality, sometimes even in the body, in the emotions which gives us a kind of anxious sense of you know, something bigger than us that's arriving. Aren't we in a kind of place like that right now, collectively, mm -hmm. of that we are in a kind of darkness, we're isolated, secluded, hopefully, many of us anyway, in our homes, and yet uh, there is that sense of um, anxiety and what next, and where are we going? Yeah, and, you know, I think it's important to not wander too far away from the fact that the negredo is associated with suffering. You know, Jung at one point talks about it being analogous to this uh, mystical idea of the dark night of the soul. I mean, it, it may be where something new is germinating, but boy, it sure does not feel like that. It, it, it more feels like the, um, the, the death and the rotting away of everything that uh, we previously clung to. And that's why it's also associated with the alchemical operations of mortificatio and putrefactio. I think that there are subcategories around the degrado, which, by the way, is, is just a Latin word for black. And, you know, when we look at a piece of fruit or any kind of natural process, a leaf falls from a tree and it loses its greenness and eventually rots down into the blackness of soil, that it, it suggests that there's a kind of natural process that's occurring. But there are subcategories. So the negredo, the mortificatio, and the putrefactio. So this idea of something turning black, something beginning to die, and then something beginning to rot, that they're all in this category of Saturnine decay. But I think the Negredo is thought of as the initial part of that, which for Jungian work 
can be the confrontation with the shadow. Absolutely. Um, and there's so much about that, uh, that it's a subjectively experienced process brought about by the subject's painful growing awareness of his shadow aspects. And it does, I think, uh, take us by surprise, uh, just as this pandemic has taken us by surprise. Where did this come from? How could it uh, it came out of nowhere, it seems, um, in its suddenness and its all-encompassing quality on the collective front, and individually, it takes us over as well. Yeah, there, there is a sense of uh, no stable ground, it yeah. isn't there? And I think that, that there's a way that when something so big is going on in the collective right now, as with the, uh, the pandemic, you know, just like I imagine, uh, you know, a world war would feel this way too. It just feels like, you know, everything is suddenly tossed up in the air. There's no, we have no stable footing. We don't know what's going to happen. And it, it brings about this, well, it can lend itself to a reorganization of the personality where everything kind of comes into question. But 